Hi everyone, my name is Moni. And I'm Naveen from Before You Play. And today we have another playthrough for you. This time it is for a game called Spectre, the board game. This game is designed by the Kedama as well as Modifius design teams and it's published by Modifius Entertainment who are helping sponsor this playthrough. And in this game, we are going to be taking on the roles of different villains in the 007 or James Bond universe. Mm -hmm. uh, Monique and I are going to be competing to be the number one villain of all time. We'll see how that goes. Yes. And so, as per usual, we are going to start with the teach of the game and then go straight into our two-player playthrough. But if you'd like to jump around, we'll include timestamps in the description below. Before we begin, if you all do us a big favor and turn on your Klingon subtitles, just in case we make any errors, we can add those corrections there. We'll also add them to the description as well. And lastly, if you like these kind of videos and you want to see more in the future, please consider subscribing. And with that, we are ready to begin. Mm -hmm. So, if you'd please direct your attention to the center of the table, we're all set up here for our two-player game of Spectre, the board game. Mm -hmm. Welcome! to the map of the world, yes. where we are going to be trying to infiltrate different regions in order to score the most uh, points, or actually in order to advance the furthest on this Spectre track. Right. Now, like we were mentioning earlier, we are competing to be the best villain. Yes, we're trying to be number one. Right, and so today, I'm going to be playing as Emilio Largo. Yeah, I'll be Rosa Kleb. Yeah, so we each have our own villain board mm -hmm. that has uh, our specific bonus, depending on our player at the top left-hand corner, and we'll discuss all those details as we play the game. Mm -hmm. And each player also has two player pieces we have our villain which is a circle base as well as our henchman which has a square base and 20 agents and this is going to be very important in order to uh try to control the different regions on the board mm -hmm. and so the way that the game works is over the course of the game we are going to be placing out our villains and henchmen on different areas of the board as well as on our player board in order to take actions deploy agents gain resources unlock different schemes and complete our secret plans in order to be in order to become number one, really. Mm -hmm. Yep. And so each round, all players are going to be assigned numbers, depending on player count. So in our two-player game, mm -hmm. it's going to be number one and number two. Yep. At the start of each round, whoever number one is, is going to draw the mission card. And so for the first round of the game, you're always going to play with On Her Majesty's Secret Service. Mm -hmm. These mission cards are going to show us what our objective is for the round, as well as what type of resource we're going to be allowed to bid with when we get to the part of the round where we resolve these mission cards, mm -hmm. as well as the penalty that all players have to face if we fail this mission. So we'll discuss the mission cards again uh, later. After number one reveals the mission, then whoever number two is gets to take a resource of their choice. That's just the benefit of being number two. Then, in player turn order, starting with number one, each player gets to put out their villain pawn. And so my villain pawn actually starts on the board. That's because that is specific to my character, but typically all of the pawns are off the board. Right. And when placing your villain pawn, you have two main options of where you can go. You can go to one of these seven regions, as long as these space is still available, because these can only fit one person. Or you can go to an available spot on your villain player board. And so two of these spaces are going to be available to you from the start of the game. But the rest of the spaces you're going to have to unlock. And these are called schemes. Some of them only have three spaces. Some uh, villain boards, as you can see here, have four. Mm -hmm. And any schemes that have an arrow next to them show an order that you must unlock them in. So for example, on my board, I have to unlock them from left to right. Right. On my board, I don't have those arrows, so I can pretty much do as I see fit. In any order. Yep. Right. Now, when placing your villain pawn in any of these regions, you're going to gain the benefit of that region immediately. And so all of those benefits are listed in the, uh, the yellowish box. Mm -hmm. For example, if I were to go here into region five, I would get to place an agent, which is what that uh, square represents, in region five, and then I would gain two gold resources immediately. Other places will allow you to put out more agents. For example, if I were to go into region six, I would get to put out an agent in region six, and then I would also be able to put out another one in regions two, three, or four. Mm -hmm. So it really depends on uh, what region I'd like to go into, because after we place all of our tokens, we're going to have some area majority scoring in all of the regions. And all the other regions, actually, are pretty self-explanatory. The one exception is when going to region 4, mm -hmm. you get to place an agent in 4, of course. And then, this means that you can spend any resource of your choice in order to move your token up on the Spectre track, which is the goal of the game, yep. if it wasn't evident. Mm -hmm. Now, when placing your villain pawn on your own player board, like I was mentioning, you have two spots that are going to be available to you at the start of the game. One spot is always going to be unique to your character, and so we'll discuss that as we play the game. But the other one, everybody has on their board, and that is a spot called Finalize. This action allows you to spend resources to unlock one of your schemes. We already talked about the order in which you have to unlock them, but in order to unlock them, you have to pay a certain number of resources, which are listed underneath the actual scheme. So for me, if I want to unlock plastic surgery, I have to spend two gold, one uh, silver resource, and one blue. And these are all called something. This is uh, blueprints, That's intel, yep. 
and gold. gold. <laughs> what do you know? And then this will unlock my plastic surgery scheme, which as you can see is a circle because this will now be an additional spot available to specifically my villain. Right. At some point during the game, you might have um, a moment where you must flip over your scheme token. And if you have to unlock a scheme that has a flipped over scheme token, you must spend an additional two resources of your choice. So that is just something uh, to look out for. Now, after everyone is done placing out their villains, then we place out our henchmen. And henchmen are square bases, and that's important because some of the spaces, like I was showing earlier, can only uh, hold villains and some can hold both. So if you have a spot that has a circle and a square, then that's uh, that can hold either piece, Valid. essentially. Yep. And when placing out your henchmen, it works exactly the same way as your villains. And you always go from player turn order, starting with number one. Yep. Now, when all players have placed both their villain and their henchman, the board might look a little something like this in a two-player game specifically. Sure. And so then you would check for area majority, starting with region number two and going down to region number eight. And whoever has the majority of agents in those regions are going to get a bonus. So as an example, we would skip region number two because nobody is here. But in region number three, uh, the blue player, which is me, I have the majority. So I would gain the region number three token which would gain me two gold. Sure. Then we'd move on to the next region, number four, where we are tied. And so in the case of a tie, nobody gets it. Right. And we basically just keep on going down in this order until we resolve all seven regions. Once all region majorities have been scored, then we resolve the mission card. And so the missions are going to vary quite a bit. Mm -hmm. Some missions are going to require you to have a certain number of agents or so in a certain region. Some of them will require you to put a villain specifically on the card. Yep. And so we'll discuss the missions as we play the game because there are uh, we're only playing with six of them, but there's a whole deck of them yep. that you can play with. That's right. But in general, the way you resolve a mission is there's a certain number of mission points that you're trying to achieve depending on player count. In a two-player game, we're trying to achieve six, six mission points. Yeah. And so, for example, for this specific mission, which is always the first one in the game, the objective is just to have agents on regions in the board. Mm -hmm. And so for each agent that's on the board, that's going to score us one mission point. As you can see, we've definitely passed six. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> but as long as we haven't automatically failed the mission, then all players will be given the opportunity to bid resources for additional mission points. And this is important because whoever contributed the most mission points is going to actually win the mission and they'll get to advance on the Spectre track and complete one of their secret plans. Anyone who's contributed at least one resource gets to then draw an additional secret plan. And so at the start of the game, we each start with one, but Naveen's... Uh, two. Yeah, Naveen gets to start with two. Yep. So secret plans look like this. They'll usually have one or two objectives that you need to meet. This one specifically has two of them. And so in order to complete this secret plan, you need to turn in an Area 5 majority token and a scheme, which means you have to have won the majority in, in Region 5, and you would have had to have unlocked the scheme because you need to discard these tokens sure. in order yeah. to complete it. If you're able to complete it, then you get the three uh, advancements on the track. However, if at some point during the round, uh, something forced you to reveal this secret plan prior to you completing it, then you get the points listed in the top right. Which is two advancements. Which is two advancements. Yeah. So that is essentially how secret plans work. We're going to be discussing them more as we play the game. Now, before we talk about the end of round stuff, I just want to talk about the Spectre track a little bit. When advancing on the track, you just follow the arrows. And on the track, you'll see these uh, red spaces. Anytime you either land on one or pass a space, it lets you take an action that's available on your player board, even if you have a villain or a henchman token on it. In addition, some of the mission cards as a penalty for failure will require you to go back on the track, which is bad, mm -hmm. if at that point you are on one of these spaces, this is considered a safe house mm -hmm. and you won't have to go back. Now, after resolving the mission card, whoever is number one at the time gets to roll these two dice because 007 is going to visit somewhere in the game. To mess with our plans. It's going to be bad for us yeah. because we are villains and we're trying to... Uh, avoid him. Avoid 007, yeah. I guess. And so after you roll the dice, Ooh. depending on the result, you're going to consult this chart. I happen to roll both zeros, which requires us to remove one of each player's agents from each region. Yes, so, so that would look like something like this, yeah. this, and so on and so forth. Right. It would all so just come off the board. It affects everybody. Yeah. In the case of a zero plus any other number, then whoever that player is, so whoever number one is, is going to get to choose another player. And uh, 007 will be visiting that player. So it's not a good thing because it'll require them to flip over one of their scheme tokens, like I was mentioning earlier, making that scheme more expensive. Right. And it'll require them to flip over a secret plan, making that secret plan also 
less valuable. Mm -hmm. Then whichever player that affected gets to place the 007 token in one of the regions on the board. And any time you place a token, the 007 token specifically on the board, it removes all the agents from that region. And for the next round, nobody can go there right. with either their villain or their henchman pawn. Mm -hmm. So it's just a... A blocker. A blocker, yeah, because you don't want to go where 007 is. At any other role result, you add up the two uh, values together, and that is a region where 007 is visiting. So that's how you end the round, by, uh, by 007 doing a sneak attack. Mm -hmm. Then everyone removes their henchmen and villain pawns from the board, except for me, you. as yeah. we'll see. And you reassign the number roles according to whoever is furthest along on the Spectre track. So whoever's the furthest along gets number one, and then second gets number two, yeah. and you it, play again. Yeah, if there is a tie, however, for that, whoever is on top, whoever got their second, becomes number one. Yes, exactly. Now the game ends at the end of the round where we complete the final mission. And at that point, everybody gets to, um, in turn order, fulfill all the rest of the secret plans that they have in their possession. And after that, whoever is furthest along on this track is gonna be the winner. Mm -hmm. But that's essentially it. So we're just gonna go ahead and get cleaned up and then we'll get started with our playthrough. Okay, so we are all reset. We have our secret plans. We just now need to figure out who's gonna start off as number one. Ready? Yes. One, two, three. Oh, is that paper? Paper? Okay, it's me. So I have the one, so it's gonna be you. Thank you, so I'm gonna be I'm number, number one, two. which means my marker uh, goes on top to start the game. That's right. Um, and by the way, there is a number three and a number four placard right. with mm -hmm. their own benefits, but since we are playing a two player game, we're only using <laughs> number one and two. There's just two of us. All right, so today I am playing as Emilio Largo, mm -hmm. and so my benefit is I start the game with my villain pawn and two agents in region number three. That's nice. why I'm already there. So my villain pawn is actually never re removed from the board at the end of the round. Mm -hmm. It stays there, uh, essentially blocking off the spot. Right, nobody from can go there. Yeah. Naveen. Yeah, for me. <laughs> Now my unique action on my board is Shark Pool. So mm. this action will allow me to remove one of my agents to gain the region area bonus of the region that they occupy. Oh, that's great. Gotcha, yeah. The other thing about my player board is if I'm able to unlock all the way to the last right-hand scheme over here, this is called Drop the Bomb. And it's an immediate benefit that allows me, allows me to advance four spaces on the Spectre track and end the game. <laughs> so that is one of the ways in which the game can end right. early. So I'm if you unlock try. this third one, I got to be very aware of what kind of resources you have. A bunch it's of gold. just gold. Okay, so if you're <laughs> amassing gold. a bunch of gold and you have that unlocked, that's a problem. It must be thematic in some way. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to be playing as uh, Rosa Kleb, uh -huh. and I start the game with actually two secret plans, unlike Monique, who only starts with one. Right. Um, also, whenever I place my villain pawn, so the circle bottom, in region eight, I get to place an additional agent there. Mm. That's pretty nice. That is um, nice. My special ability here is called deployment, and it says whenever whenever I place one of my pawns on this location, then I get to move eight, up to three agents from eight somewhere else. Oh, so okay. there's going to be a lot of activity happening in eight, and then sh kind of shifting from there. Right. That is Rosa Rosa Club's specialty. Mm -hmm. All right. Yep. Well, I think we're ready to begin. Are you ready? Yes. All right. Starting with round one, since I am number one, I'm going to reveal the mission. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. Here we go. Like we were mentioning during the teach, the first mission is always on Her Majesty's service. Brainwash spa Secret patients service. to spread neurotoxin. Uh -huh. So our objective is to hit uh, six mission points again in a two-player game. Right. And for this mission, we just need to get agents onto the board. In yeah, we already are helping with two of them. So yes. And just good. so you know, we will be able to bid with any resource of your choice. Right. And if we fail the mission, we must remove one agent from each villain from every region. Okay. So this is kind of an easier mission to kind of start us off. Yep. Now, number two, you yes. get a resource. Yes, it's take one resource at the start of the turn after the mission card is read. The mission card was just read. What would you like? Um, hmm. Gold, intel, blueprints, perhaps? You know, I'll go with the, I'll go with blueprints. Blueprints? Let's go with blueprints. All right, there you go. One blueprint for me. All right, now starting with me, we're going to place our villain pawn. So I must move my villain pawn elsewhere. Right. Let me just take a look at my secret yeah. plan really quick. What do I do? Ah. Oh. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, we all need some resources, but we also need to put agents onto the board. Mm -hmm. So I think I'm going to move my uh, villain to region six. And so going here allows me to put an agent in six and then additionally one in two, three, or four. So okay. I'm going to put another one in four. You just want to dominate. I'd like to. <laughs> the area. Is that what you're saying? Yes. Okay. Where would you like to uh, put your villain? Um, hmm. You know what? I think uh, I have that ability. So I'm going to go ahead and put my villain pawn in eight. Okay. It's going to get me an agent out there. 
Uh, and then because uh, when placing your villain pawn in region eight, deploy one extra agent in that region. Ugh, I'm never going to doing what it says. I'm never going to gonna gain eight. And then I'm going to gain <laughs> these two intel. Yes, that is the benefit That's of going to funny. eight. Although this is oh, sorry. a spot yeah. Oops. <laughs> for your villain. All right, henchman time. Okay. Same turn order. I think I'm going to go to the volcano lair. Okay. To region dominating seven. dominating the region. Huh? So one in seven and another one in four, six, or just another one in seven. I think I'll go to six. Okay. So it does give me some uh, flexibility, flexibility if I get that majority. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, okay, let's just go ahead and place myself in... Five. Okay. There's an agent out there. I get two gold. There you go. Uh, there you go. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. So now I got some resources. Look at You have a lot. Yeah, I do. What happened? I have none. I got well, I, I went and got them. All right. So now it is time to check for majority, starting with region two. Nobody. Neither of us are here. Region three goes to me. You. So I get the uh, region three majority token as well as the bonus, which is two gold. So now you get two resources. So here, yeah. yeah now yeah. I've it's come co to collect. It was coming, yeah. <laughs> Region four is also me, so I'll take that. Yeah. And it looks like two blueprints. Sure. Uh, region five goes to you. Me, and that means I get to move along this track. Uh oh. So, you, so you, I will be number one. You got the most unless important. Unless you, unless you come on. Majority. On top. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, maybe. Uh, region six goes to me, and wild that is going to get me a wild resource. Uh, I think. I what do I need the most of? Gold. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Definitely gold. So I'll go ahead and take that. Number seven also goes to me, <laughs> and I get to... Yeah, see, look, you got a ton of stuff. To, I have so much resources now. What the heck? You get number eight, though, I, Naveen. I so now you get to do this, which yeah. is moving uh, three of your I could move just three, yeah, three cubes uh, from there. So let's go ahead and do that. And this is up to three, yep. and you don't have to take them all from the same place. You can literally just take them scatter them around. I'm just going to keep one back at eight, and I'm just going to move only one, honestly, and I'm going to bring it into four for a little bit of a competition. Ah, interesting. Yeah. All right. Now that that's done, let's resolve our mission. So on Her Majesty's Secret Service requires just to have agents in regions. So it looks like we have, how many do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. nine. So we have far surpassed the six mission points necessary. In order for any of us to win, we have to bid resources though. And at that point, uh, whoever has contributed the most amount of mission points is gonna be the true winner. Mm -hmm. So as it stands right now, I have one, two, three, four, five, six. And Naveen, you have three. Three. So it really, <laughs> it's up to you. I mean, whether maybe or not. I'll contribute. Are you ready to bid? Uh, I'm looking at the resource. What can I justify <laughs> giving up here? You can use any resource for this first mission. I know, I know. All right, I'm ready. Ready? Yes. One, two, three. Nothing. I bid one. I know you did. Yeah. Okay. So the yeah. one that I bid has to go back to the supply, yep. no matter what. Uh, which means I have, what did we say? Six. I have seven mission points to your three. Yep. The mission is successful, but uh, I technically win the mission. Um, first of all, I get a new secret plan because anybody who bids any amount of resources just gets to draw That's a new one. secret plan. Mm -hmm. Since I won the mission, I get to go up on the Spectre track. Sure. One space. One space. I yeah, can also technically one. complete a secret plan, but believe it or not, I cannot. I mean, it's not yet. easy. It's a little bit early, yeah. I guess. Now I'm going to roll the two dice since I am technically number one. I guess I'll roll on the board, right? Yep. Three seven. and four. So that means region seven. The benefit of being number one is I can re-roll any one die if I didn't like that result. And I didn't like the result. So, so. what are you going to do? Well, where are you? Well, I'm in, I'm in five. It's the same odds here if because you, you can only re-roll one of the die. Well, I, if I re-roll the four, I mm -hmm. won't get an eight. These only go up to four. Yeah, so it'll go if you get a... A one, yeah. then it hurts me. Yes, you get a I'm gonna, four, it hurts me. I'm going to roll this. But if you roll a two, one, one, it hurts me. So it hurts Naveen. Say it. So this is just going to go directly to that Gosh. region. This leaves, and so does this. Yeah. Because now nobody can place any agents here. I like the spot um, right here. That was nice. <laughs> Next round. Dang it. Only lasts one round, yeah. so it's okay. Now we take back our, uh, our workers, essentially. So yeah. I take back my henchmen. And I leave my villain behind. Okay. And technically, you are supposed to now rearrange the placards according to who's ahead. But in this game, whoever's on top of the other players, I guess, is mm -hmm. considered ahead. And so I keep number one. You do? Yep. And that's it for our first round. Yep. Are you ready to move on to the next mission? Yes. Okay, here we go. We actually don't know what the next mission is. Yeah, we don't know. It is You Only Live Twice. Okay. Snare 
snare nations into starting a war. So the objective is having agents specifically in region seven. So it's six agents in seven. Uh, or that plus a combination of whatever resources Bids, we're yeah. bidding. Mm. And this round we can bid any type of resource. The uh, penalty, if we fail, <laughs> is all players move back one space on the Spectre track. Interesting. Oh, no. Again, though, as a reminder, if either of us are on the red space and we have happen. to suffer that penalty, that's considered a safe house and you don't have to move back sure. one space. So there you go. Uh, because we just read the mission card, I'm number two. I get a resource of my choice. What would you like? Uh, I'm going to take a blueprint. Okay. Let's do it. So now it's time to move my villain. And I think clearly... <laughs> Seven is the name of the game this sure. round, right? Okay. So I'm going to place one agent here and another one just back in seven. And we'll, see. well, hold on. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, I guess. You like that? I guess we'll we'll go with it. Let me look up the scheme. Poisoned shoe knife. <laughs> when placing your villain pawn in any region, remove an enemy agent from that region. I kind of like having that. Okay. I think I want to do that. So I'm going to go ahead. Oh, I have to use this one, huh? Uh, to Into... finalize? No, finalize is circle or square. Well, you have to use the, the villain first, right? Before henchman. So I will. Let's do it. So I'm, okay. go I'm going to spend resources to unlock a scheme. I'd like to unlock poison shoe knife. Okay. It's going to cost me two intel uh -huh. and one blueprint. So oh, those nice. are out. This is just an ongoing effect now. So anytime I go where Monique has a cube, she's going to lose a cube. <gasps> yeah. Wait, specifically with? When placing your villain. Okay. Yeah. So I'm safe for one I mean, round. this is pretty bad. Like, it is pretty bad. one red to all that blue. Yeah. I have to have something like that. Yeah. 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 That's fair. Mm -hmm. uh, and now you also have the scheme token in I case do. you have a, uh, a secret plan in the future Possibly. that requires you to spend it. All right. So back to me with my henchmen. And I think I'm going to do the same. It's time to me, for me to finalize. Okay. So I'm going to spend resources to unlock my plastic surgery. It's two gold, plastic surgery. Uh, one uh, intel, and one blueprint. So, mm -hmm. and that unlocks this, which is a spot specifically for my villain that lets me deploy three agents to region three. Okay. So back to I, three for you, huh? Yeah, I guess thematically, region three gets you gold. Yeah. As its uh, area which majority is what bonus, you're need. it's what I'm gonna need to drop oh, the bomb. I know. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, seeing that four is the only way I can get this to move into a safe zone, mm -hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm just gonna go right there. Okay. I'm gonna put a cube onto four. Okay. Uh, and then I will spend a resource. Let's go ahead and spend. Uh, gold is not needed at all for me. Oh, so okay. gold is kind of my spend it kind of thing. So I'm nice. going to spend that. We're going to move ahead. Nice. I am in a safe, safe zone. zone. And then now, because I'm on that red, I can uh, activate one of these. Yes, that's right. Even so, if you have a piece there. So you can finalize again. Right. I don't have enough resources, though. These two resources aren't going to be able to unlock anything here. Right. So I won't be able to retap this. Oh, that's uh, but I will use my move up to three agents uh, from region eight to any regions or vice versa. Ooh. I'm going to go ahead and just get out of here. All in. Where are you going? Yeah, we're just going to drop it off right there. Okay. I'm not winning it. No. But it is what it is. I'm just going to try to get in there. A secret plan, mayhaps. Uh, perhaps. Okay. Maybe. Well, that is it for that. We are going to now score these majorities. Mm -hmm. So again, nobody uh, nobody likes Region 2 for some reason. This yeah. Region 2 is nice because the benefit is you can move your, your agent yeah, somewhere Early. else before that region scores. Yeah. Anyway, moving on to Region 3, um, looks like I have that still. Yep. I get two gold. Region 4, you have taken it from some me. Some blueprints. So you get the the region token and two blueprints. Perfect. Nobody has region five. So well, you can't, yeah. Did you have it? So you uh, have to yeah. give it back. There it is. All right. Region six stays with me and I get something of my choice. Uh, I don't have any blueprints. So let's just mm -hmm. take one of those. Region seven also stays with me and I get two of these and then nobody in region eight. Gotcha. All right, let's resolve this mission card. So as it stands right now, uh, we have three agents in region seven. So we need to turn in a minimum of three of these resources to make it to six mission points. Mm -hmm. So, Naveen, uh, yes. are we going to bid? You can bid anything. I could. Let's see. What are you thinking? Well, I know you're going to want to hang on to your resources because you're trying to get the Largo's end. Yeah. To what? Oh, oh, to drop the bomb. Yeah. Ready? Yes. Okay. One, two, three. Ooh. I, I revealed three. <laughs> I just dropped my gold. Oh, good. But, so that, that brings us to a total of six because I have three <laughs> in here and I'm giving up three. So of no my penalty for you, huh? Valuable resources. No penalty for you either. Yeah. I've saved us both. Thank um, you. Since I bid at least one, I get to draw a new secret plan. And since I contributed the most, I go up on the Spectre track. 
Passively, huh? And I'm going to finally... Enough being number one. I'm going to resolve a secret plan. What do you got? I think I'll do this one. So this plan uh, requires me to turn in the area majority token for six, okay. as well as a scheme token. Mm. So I've unlocked my scheme uh, finally, so I'll just turn that in. So since this secret plan was not revealed, I get the uh, three advancements sure. rather than two. Oh boy, So one, two, three. So now you can uh, do one of your actions. Oh yeah, Yeah. I'm gonna finalize. So I'm gonna spend the two gold, the one silver and the one blue to wow. unlock global blackmail. What does that say? <laughs> it says gain one resource for every agent you have in region three. Oh wow! So okay. because um, my Ooh. character or my villain does a lot with Region Three, it's kind of synergizing with that action. Makes sense, yeah. All right, so I'll put that there, and these will go back because I have this scheme token uh, to keep in front of me, just in case I need to spend it again okay. in the future. Let's roll these dice and see where Double O Seven is going to take oh. us. Okay, so well, no, you have the option to reroll. Yeah, yeah, I do have the option to reroll because if we le left it like this. Then, actually, if we leave it like this, number one gets to decide who is going to take this hit. <laughs> so, interesting. I think we know the answer to that. So I'm, I'm going to keep it as hit. is. Okay. Which means, um, Naveen, you're going to get the 007 token. Okay. You have to flip over. Oh, I get to choose which one. You get to choose? Yeah. Okay. Let's just choose this one. Go okay. ahead and flip that over. So, you have to spend an extra two resources. All right. Um, to complete that. So, if I want to do agent training, it's now going to cost me three uh, intel, which uh -huh. I have none of. And to any other resources. And yes. that's the one that allows me to deploy one agent in region eight at the beginning of each game round. Yes. <sighs> that's not so bad because you don't have to do these in a particular order. I don't, so you but that's ignore that. Nice. Yep. And do one of these two. I could. You also have to reveal a secret plan because uh, you've yeah. revealed your plan to 007 yeah. for some reason. For some reason, uh, the bad guys in these movies like to tell them his master plan while he's tied up and then he gets out <laughs> of it. So I'm going to, I'm. you know what? Yeah. You seem to be dominating the number one. This one just says be number one. Oh, okay. I can't get I can't catch up to you. You got a lot of cubes out there. I gotta I gotta just put this out there. So That's that right. is one of my master plans, Mr. Bond. <laughs> so there you go. Okay. Uh, the good thing is I then get to decide where this goes. Yes, that is right. Mr. Oil Rig. No, you know what? What? You, what you... need Okay, we're gonna we're gonna get rid of this. Oh no. Get rid of that. It's like don't make eye See contact. You later. All right. All right. Well, that's that. Let's go ahead and take back our uh, villains Jesus. and henchmen. I'll leave this here. Sure. It's going to move somewhere else. Yep. And then technically we would uh, reorganize this, but I'm still going to stay as number one. Right. And that is the end of the second round. Shall we move on to the next mission? Yeah, let's do it. So okay. let's go ahead and flip it. You want to do it for you? I am number one. I must reveal. Oh, yeah. Sorry, number one. <laughs> I'm sorry, number one. Okay. You only live twice, Naveen. I do. Kidnap astronauts. What? That's awful. So the objective is just for either one of us to put their villain pawn on that spot. Gotcha. If neither of us do that, then we automatically fail. And the penalty is you have to discard all of your blue resources. Mm. So maybe not that bad, but if you want to complete a secret plan, yeah. you got to do that. Interesting. We can only bid using Intel Okay. Uh, when we get to this mission. Gotcha, gotcha. And whoever puts their villain pawn on that spot, by the way, is going to get three mission points towards, towards it, it. So it's kind of nice. Okay. All right. What would you like as your resource? Uh, let's go with a, uh, Intel, since that's what we have to bid. <laughs> yeah. Uh-oh. Yeah. All right, so starting with me, time to move my villain pawn. I like that I just, uh, unlocked that. Mm -hmm. Um, because right now I have two agents in Region 3, and I kind of want to make this sweeter. Okay. Because this will get me one resource for every agent in there. So I'm going to put my villain on my plastic surgery spot. So you're not, you know, you don't care about discarding all your blue. Right. Because you have no blue to discard. Correct. I have blue to discard. <laughs> So this lets me deploy uh, three agents to region three. Yeesh. So let's get started on that. All right. Oh my gosh. Back to you. I need James Bond to go visit this location and just whoosh, wipe it all out. Mm -hmm. But I can't control that right now. All I can control is that I only live twice. <laughs> oh, nice. That thing right there. So I'm gonna. I'm trying. I need to get this. ahead. Like this is not. This is not good. So you want this to succeed? I, I would like it to. All right. So back to me with my henchmen. I guess this is as good time, a time yeah. as any. I'm going to do some global blackmail. So what does that say? I can gain one resource for every agent oh I have in there. Gosh. So I get five resources. Yikes. So what do we have to bid with? Uh, I guess I'll get some intel. One, two, three, four, and five. Let's just do that. Okay. 
All right, so I'm going to go ahead and now move into eight. Uh, we've put an agent out. My ability says that whenever I put an agent out in eight, we put another one out. Nice. So we can go ahead and do that. And I think that's that. All right. Yeah. Are you ready to score some majorities? Yes. Again, no one Nothing. in two. I take the one All in you. three, which yeah. I have now, and that gets me two gold. Mm -hmm. So that's nice. Uh, you take four. I do. Which you have, so you get these two blue. I do. No one in five. Surprisingly, no one in five. Well, yeah. James Bond was in there earlier, and it was just nobody bailed. I took. Six. I had to place this guy here, so. Yeah, that's fair. I'll get a gold because I think I need some gold. Mm -hmm. Nobody in seven. You know, I didn't you get my eight? two intel for uh, for going there. Oh, okay. As evidenced by my only one here. Yeah, so yeah, that's yeah. That's how you can definitely check. <laughs> that's true. Uh, so you got the majority in eight. You can now move three. Yeah. Three of your tokens. Um, this is a problem here. This is a big problem. Yeah. I wish I could move your tokens, but I can't. <laughs> well, I mean, if you just ends up, or if you end up putting the 007. I'd like to have the right to put that 007 somewhere. Yeah. You know what? I'm going to move into five. I like this bonus at the bottom here. That's so smart. maybe I can just snake it every single time. Just one? Just one, yeah. All right. That is it for the majorities. Let's resolve <laughs> this mission. Right. So as it says right now, we only have three mission points. We need three more. Yeah. So yeah. we can My three mission points bid only only your intel. Um, right. I mean, you don't need to pick up all your resources now. So if we fail, we have to discard all of our blueprints. Right. So How many blueprints do you have? Money? One. You have one blueprint? Yeah. Okay. I'm ready to bid. Are you ready? Uh, ready? Yes. One, two, three. Reveal. Three oh, you got three? Okay. You <laughs> yeah. just made it. Yeah, I wasn't sure if you were going to spend any. I wasn't going to leave it up to chance. <laughs> I did not. Because I have five blueprints. There's yeah, no way. You, would have, you would have lost a lot. Yeah. So the mission is successful. It is. Um, I don't get to draw a secret plan, but you do. I get to you draw at one. least one. Okay. And in addition, you win the mission. So you move up one yep. on the Spectre track. Right. And you have the right now to complete a, a secret plan. You know, I think I'm going to. Oh, this nice. One. Spend three blueprints. Oh, okay. So had I lost it, I would have, you know, I wouldn't have been able to do this. So yeah, nice. there it goes. One, two, three. And you get to move up twice. I get to move up twice, so now it's one, no. two. I you are number will one. be number one. Yep. You also get to do a thing on your player board. Yes, that's right. I do. Um, Can't anything that. costs two blueprints and a gold? No. <laughs> so... Because so. I have the ability to move up to three agents from this region, yeah. and I'm going to have the first dib. So let's go ahead and just move this. Oh, gosh, I hate what you got going on here. <laughs> I really do. <laughs> I'm going to move it into here. Okay. Competing? Ah, I, was oh. like, I don't know what this die is going to roll. That's the two. problem. <laughs> Go to two. Two is actually not bad, honestly. Yeah, you get to... I'll take it. You're you get right. to, to move things after the fact. After the fact, right? yes. All right, shall we roll? Uh, yes. I'm, I'm only in number roll one for three. this last part of the round. So Ooh. <gasps> two zeros. Remove one of each player's agents from each region. I don't like that. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. That means, okay, I only get to reroll one of these. So Four. Four. Okay. Me so, again. Hold on. <laughs> hold on. It says oh, okay, never mind. that oh, it's a th you're gonna do I, to me again. I get to decide again. who gets the token. No, but here's the thing. If I give you the token, then I get to wipe you get you to out. you get to remove everything in three. I, if I choose to, yeah. So you're gonna make you're gonna give yourself the token, reveal a plan to bond. No, it says a player cannot place a 007 mm, token right. on their own villain right, board, right, right, which right, right. is funny because that's actually really bad for me. Uh -huh. uh, because I rolled a four. It says uh, it's going to be decided by number one. It's just bad for both of one. us here. So I guess I'm giving this to you. Yeah, I'm the other villain. Yeah. Okay, 007 has visited me. <laughs> With so, steam token. Uh, okay, Maybe. I can either say reveal two secret plans of each other player. That's going to be more expensive. Or immediately attempt to complete a secret plan. Well, seeing as I have two of these, and that's close to three, uh, I'm going to go ahead and make this more expensive. Oh, I would okay. like to make you reveal your secret plans over there but i don't know so. i mean you can still uh find it. you just have to pay a little bit more yeah right, exactly. for it yep uh you also reveal a secret plan because 007 conned you into it somehow yeah. all right so i have this one right here it is uh have control of uh section two which i technically do right now yeah. um and have at least two agents in number four which uh. i also have right now <laughs> so thanks james Appreciate it. Well, if you unlock this spot, you can still. Uh, well, I don't. I don't have the token. I'm, I'm just oh, in there I right see. now. So it's like yeah. now you know what to stop me from doing. So <laughs> right. how dare you? Okay. Well, you still get to put that up. 
Oh definitely my gosh. taking out these this wall of agents. Uh, I I get some what? collateral damage, How but you? um How could you? I have to do this. Yeah, let's just <laughs> keep it here. All right, well let's go ahead and take back our uh workers here, our villain and henchmen. Villain henchmen. And yes. we have a changing of the numbers. Changing of the guard. So, <laughs> Naveen, you are number thank one. You. Congratulations. This is for you. And thank you. I'm number two. I, at least I get a resource. That'll be nice. That's true. I need resources. <laughs> okay. Well, are you ready to move on to the next mission? Mm -hmm. Please. Hi, right, number do one. <laughs> we'll do my duty. Casino Royale. Okay. Manipulate the stock market. Bid only. <gasps> Remove one agent from each villain from every region. So it's just resources. Just resources. We just have to bid resources at the end of this round to huh. try to make this successful. That's scary because hmm, it's just a battle of depending on who wants to complete a a secret yeah. plan, right? Oh my gosh. I mean, the good thing is if you bid at least one, you get another secret plan. It seems like you definitely want to try to have as many secret plans. I as think you I get. should have been getting some in those previous ones where I was bidding nothing. Yeah, I think you went two rounds with saying no. I mean, I only have three resources now, though. So yeah. that there goes two of them. I would have one to show for this nice uh, who has the most stuff to bid bid but if so, a secret plan is like have two agents in region four you already have them right you could use this it, it's so hard to yeah. tell where it would have went yeah but in the end i probably should have got more secret plans yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah so. I, I have some <laughs> for sure well i get a resource so hmm, i need gold i'm just yeah. gonna take another gold there's that Gosh. all right starting with you this time feel free to place out your villain i'm not actually blocking a spot no. because last round i went to a spot on my player board mm -hmm. so where would you like to go Okay, I think I'm going to go to five, the oh, River okay. Nile. We're going to get an agent on there. Ah, my gold. Yes, I'm going to take two gold. <laughs> Not that I need gold, but I can't let you have gold. Okay. I love gold. Back to me. I'm thinking about unlocking scuba divers over here. Yeah, then that makes it very wise that I took the five then. Well, it says I can deploy two agents in region three and move all and move all agents in region three. Oh, uh, there's no action happening in three right now. This would just be a means to an end because my whole goal here <laughs> was to drop the bomb. No bomb. But I can only finalize once per round unless I move up far enough. Mm -hmm. Well, I might as well go to the next best place, I guess. I can place my hunchman later. Mm. So I'll go there. That gets mm. me an agent in four and I could spend a resource to go up. So I'll spend an intel, okay. and that's going to move me up uh, one space mm. right now. All right. That is me. Mm. Now for your henchman, Naveen. All right. I think I'm going to move over to seven. Okay. So I got an agent on seven. I could place a cube in either four, wow. six, or seven. Kind of want to have it in a four. In the spa resort. In the spa resort. <laughs> we haven't been uh, calling them by their names. No. It's a secret underground lab. Mm -hmm. Come on. <laughs> All right. Well, then back to me. I'm just going to finalize. This oh, okay. is a means to an end. This is going to let me do nothing, essentially. But I'm one step closer to dropping oh, the, bomb. the bomb. So this is a scuba divers. It costs two intel. I do not like that. And one blueprint. I need to make that expensive for you somehow. <laughs> I need Bond to visit so, you. <laughs> This is they can deploy two agents in region three and move all agents in region three. So Cannot three is a dead so spot right now. The oil that. rig. Ah, nice. But as soon as I can <laughs> save up seven gold. That's why I need to make that expensive. I need Bond to visit you. Drop the bomb. Badly. <laughs> well, I'm going to advance four spaces on the Spectre track. So yeah. that's the thing, though. If I'm not completing my secret plans, it's only four more points. Whereas I, I don't know what you have under your sleeve. I have no sleeve. No They're sleeve. All expo I'm exposed. Oh. You know what I What do. is the penalty for Casino Royale? Remove one agent from each villain from every region. Yeah. Okay, so now we're going to go into scoring the majorities. We're starting at two, of course. Okay. My one agent. Someone's in, in there. Villa. For once. There you go. Is that two? Okay. Uh-huh. And then uh, as the bonus, I get to move it around. So I think I want to hang on to this eight. So I'm just going to move it on over to the ah, eight. Ah, smart. Might as well. So you're keeping, you're keeping more tokens more that tokens, way. More tokens, yeah. All right, so we skip region three, go into region four, which you have. You already mm -hmm. have it with you? I believe so. So here are your uh, your blueprints. Thank you. Region five goes to you. Me. Oh, no. I get a movement. You do. I get the movement onto uh, this. And the majority and the tokens. five. Six goes to me. So I get a resource of my choice. Let's go with gold. Oh, boy. Seven goes to you. Oh, no. You took it. I did. There you go. And you get some intel. I have all this control, but I don't... <laughs> you have all those resources. Too. I don't like the fact that... What are you, one away from? Huh? Oh, man. Okay. This is going to move me four wow. spaces. Wow, wow. So if you can get secret plans that you can complete... I mean, they're here. Then this is not necessarily a bad thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, you also get eight, by the mm -hmm. way, which do you have now? So you can uh, move up to three of your of your agents. 
Yeah, I think I'm gonna. I think I will. I like the to have the ability to go. So I'm actually gonna move this back. Oh, okay. Over here. All right. So let's resolve the mission, shall sure. we? Yeah. Casino Royale. So again, this is just bidding resources. We don't have any mission points yet. We have to uh, turn in our resources. So shall we <sighs> grab them? You have all that gold, and I like have you can. Gold. And the oh my gosh, what am I gonna spend? <laughs> all right, are you ready? Yes. Okay. Ready? One, two, three. Six. Oh. You put in six? I put in six. Oh, you put in one? I did. I just wanted to see. I wasted plan. one. <laughs> Took the risk. Dang it. All okay. Right. Well, the mission is successful. Congratulations. Thanks. So nobody is going to face the consequences of that. You get a secret plan. I get a secret plan, yeah. So do I. Uh, <laughs> okay. What? Interesting. <laughs> we will have the opportunity to score these secret plans at the end of the game. So so now you get to advance in the track. I do get to advance. Because in the you track. contributed more mission points. And you can complete a secret plan. Can yeah. You? Well, I'm eligible for both of these. This one gives me more bang for my bucks. Mm -hmm. And this is one that I think uh, I should probably do. Okay. So it's, uh, it's have control of two, which I have the token. Uh huh. So, and then also have two agents in four. So oh, I have okay. that, uh, at least two agents in four. So, so you're turning you in your token. So because this was face up, I don't get the three bump, I get the two bump. So I'm going to be able to go one, two. Just oh, like nice. That. <gasps> you can do a. A yeah, something. I can. So I can spend resources to unlock a scheme. I might want to unlock this scheme. Wow. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, unlock it. So it's going to cost me one, two, three blueprints to do it. Wow. Okay. That's right. cool. So you'll be able to uh, um, complete a secret plan yep. during, the, during the round. During the round. Two. Yep. Uh-oh. So this one's done. This is all done. Okay. Right there. Very good. Cool. So then, since you're number one, number one. you get to roll the dice. All right, where Show can I where affect you? I think you want to affect number six. Is going. Oh, okay. So specific. Five. Right. That's where I am. So you can re-roll one die. I will. Gosh, please <laughs> do not roll. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Two. Six. six. Okay. That is me. Excellent. So where is 007 now? 007's there. All right. So, so these go out. Later. Okay. So oh, let's boy. take back our uh, villain and henchman pawn. Right. And then we would, uh, we're, we're not actually Run going switching, to yeah. switch these off because you are still number one. That's me, yep. Well then, this might be the last round. This yeah. might be. I have five gold. One, two, three, four, five. I need two more gold to to end the game. Right. So we'll see. Shall we reveal the next mission? Number sure. One. Let's do it. That's number one I am. I will reveal. <laughs> so Diamonds yeah. are forever. Oh. This has to do with six. <gasps> oh no. This is an auto fail. This is an auto fail. Unless. Unless I end the game. <laughs> it's a, it will That's end the game. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at the... Okay, this is the punishment. Roll 007 twice. <laughs> That's so funny. That is really funny. Oh, man. The thing is, you can't even bid anything. No, because this has because, to be applicable. Before. Yeah, you have to meet the objective before you can bid I asked extra, for six and extra resources. Six we got. That's an auto fail. Okay, well, Whoa. that's unfortunate. Yeah. I get a resource, so I'm taking some gold. Okay. And now... Go ahead and yeah, place me. out your villain, Naveen. Uh, okay, so uh, I mm, how many gold do you have? Six? I have six. <laughs> I can't let you have this. All right, anywhere there's gold, I basically have to block it because mm. you're one gold away. So I'm going to go here. I've, okay. I've never been able to use my poison uh, blade on my on my shoe. Oh, yeah, that's right. I, I haven't have been that. able to because I, I can't go here. This is the only place that you have it. Well, that's the only place I'm not a boy, Naveen. Leave me alone. I <laughs> wipe you. Uh, I have two agents Yes. on the entire planet. We're going to put an agent there. Okay. And then we're going to gain two gold. Yeah. You get I need to golden. steal all the gold. I don't need gold. I just need it to not go into your hands. Well, here's the problem. Two. Even if I do end the game, that's going to be one, two, three, four. Could, you know, assuming you have some secret plans over there, uh -huh. <laughs> I I don't know if it is a good idea to end the game. Oh, good. Because you're definitely going to get one advancement for that because you are one. number one, yeah. which would be bad because that would, that would give you the win. And I'm also a majority right here right now. We wouldn't, I don't think you would finish the round. Ah, it just says yeah. advance four spaces on the spectra track and end the game. Well, I think it would be a really bad idea for me to end it now. So I'm going to go here. Okay. And that's just going to get me some agents. agents. So one there and another one in three, seven or eight. Mm -hmm. What uh, <laughs> What do I need? What do you got going on? Um, if I go to eight, does that something happen with, with Rosa Club? That's bad for me? Well, if I... Take my shoe to you, then yes, yeah. but technically no, you're you're fine for right now. Okay, I'm gonna go to eight. 
I like the fact that this is now open so I can advance more on the track. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go ahead and move myself here. Uh, I'm going to put Wait, on... it's a henchman. You have to oh, sorry. Henchman. Henchman yes, up. thank you. <laughs> Hold the phone. Uh, yeah. Super uh, out of four. Four. Uh, and then I can spend a resource to move up on the track. Oh. So let's just go ahead and keep on maintaining that number one status. This is bad. Gotta this keep is it bad. Going. I definitely cannot. I cannot do this. Good. Uh-oh. <laughs> Good. Suddenly I'm in big trouble. <laughs> I mean, I I feel like you're, you're going to pull it off somehow. Well, I'm just going to go. I'm going to go here to my global blackmail. I'm gonna gain a resource for every agent I have in region three, which oh, is just one, but it's gonna be the- That's the gold you I have, need. I have like the trigger for the, for the bomb. Yeah, it's a threat. I'm ready. You're like, you know what? I'm taking this whole place down. Yeah, but I just, I can't do it yet. There You'll see why. Okay, good. Um, well, that's that. Well, that's good. Shall we score the majorities? Uh, let's do it. Okay, starting with two, you still have two. Yeah, I have it, um, so I'll take it. And I will, uh, I'd like to, I'd like, oh God, how much gold do you have there? One, two, I have seven. You have seven, so do I even care about blocking this off from you? Okay, I'll do this so you don't have the ability to move some cubes around. Oh, okay. There you go. <laughs> that really stinks. Yeah. Region three, which is what I have here. So I'll take my two gold. Take it back. Uh, region four, that's you're me. taking four. So uh, you have that. Two blueprints. Yeah. Five, you still have. So that's another advancement. Oh, yes. no. What is happening? We must press on. Oh, no. How do we stop this madness? Uh, six is nothing. Seven is back to you. So you get two of yeah, these. two of those. And then... That's good. Eight is nothing. <laughs> Perfect. So nobody gets nobody that, gets that ability. benefit. Yeah. Resolving the mission is going to be very sad, this, sad. this round because this is an auto lose. Uh, you're required to have at least one agent in region six, and unfortunately, 007 foiled those plans. So we must roll 007 twice. Twice. So it's just going to be like a big like bowling ball, just so that, ruining that's, us. That's the penalty. Right. In addition to the the standard roll. Yeah, I guess 007 yeah. is going three just, times. You're just clearing stuff out. This is like well, the, the third, one. the last third of the uh, of the movies, you know, where he's <laughs> dominating, can't be touched. The climax. Oh, okay. okay. That's one. Remove um, one from each uh, region. Okay. And I'm assuming I don't get this reroll here. I think I, you can only get the reroll during that during part that of the phase, turn. During that phase, yeah. So. Well, one. It's one two, of each, right? Three, four. Oh, oh no. gosh. Wow. Just remove everybody from the board, right? right? Did you remove one from here? Uh, no. Okay. I was trying well, to sneaky. Go ahead and roll the, again. The true number one. Three. <laughs> Three. Okay. Nobody's there. Okay. So, well, that would be bad if it were to stay that way for next round. That so now why don't you do the, the real this 007 This is the real roll. 007 roll. Okay. The end of round. I don't even know what I want. 007 roll. That's a one. It would be you. Me. Would give me the token. Would give you the token. Yeah, because you are number one. I'm going to give it to you. You're going to, I'm going to give it to you. Really? Yeah. You're going to let me remove you? From the, t the, the Yeah, board. I guess so. I guess I'll be, you wanted the 100% <laughs> <laughs> likelihood of your cube getting removed. But you get to expose one of your uh, your plans. Yeah. Tell James what, <laughs> what what you got up your sleeve. You know, I'm just going to reveal this one because maybe you'll you'll see why I haven't been able to oh. fulfill my secret plans Yes. because I need to be at five and I have to have one of these, which mm. is fine. But anyway, that's revealed. Interesting. So I get to put this out and I'm going to put it out there. Yeah, that's a good one. So all of these... Goodbye. Go out. Goodbye, my sweet agents. <laughs> and this goes to you. Oh. Now I can't use disability. No. Shoot. You can't. Yeah. Why did you give it to me? You should have rolled the die again. Well, if I rolled it and it rolled a four. But or you a had five. a 50, 50 chance of rolling a two or a three. <laughs> all right. So all right. Well, me, right? You, you get to retain um, number one. And number at the one. end of the day, this is the spread here right now. Yes. It's going to be quite difficult for me to regain Must continue this. spread. But I'm going to try. Okay. All right, not... I think we're on new mission, right? Yes, I've not given up hope. All right, go well, ahead, number one. <laughs> From Russia with love. Oh. Okay, steal Lecter device and sell it back to Russia. Oh, okay. okay. So uh, this is one of those ones where we have to put our villain pawn here just to be mm. able. If not, we remove all agents from seven and eight. That's all. That's not so bad. That's all. Do we care about that, Naveen? I mean, I don't. That's the thing. You can actually negotiate. Well, you can discuss during at, at a certain about stage the, of the game yeah. about the missions. You you can't. I don't think negotiations are binding, but you can discuss yeah. who is going to contribute what. Right. Uh, although, Interesting. I don't know. We haven't been doing that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So yeah. I get a resource. Yes. You can only bid. These? I'm just going to take one then. Yeah, you might as well. Might as well. Have the, the right. All right, so it's me first, huh? Yes, where are you well, going to go? Uh, it's pretty barren out there. Yeah. 
well, I like the fact that I can possibly do this. So I'm going to go ahead and place that there. Mm. I'm going to put on agent, uh, get myself two gold, and uh, call it. How do I get into area five? How do we take that from Naveen? I mean, I might as well go here. And just, just get myself the three mission points. I'm kind of at a standstill of mm. I can't really complete that secret plan <laughs> because <laughs> you keep going to Region 5. Yeah. Well, I'm glad that's exposed. Now I know. Just maintain Region 5. Yeah. Maybe. I cannot Number complete my maintain. secret plan uh, yet. Okay. But it is back to you. Back to henchmen. me. All right. I think I am going to move over to 8. Even though 8 is going to be penalized if mm -hmm. we fail this, mm -hmm. I'd like to move it there because... Um, I have the ability to do some stuff out of eight, so I'm going to put this here. Now, the villain is not there, so I don't get to put an additional one. Um, but oh, okay. if I control this at the end, then I can move some of these cubes out of here before this penalty may happen. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and get myself some intel. Very good. Yeah, that's me. Because, oh, I see, remove all agents from regions seven and eight. Yeah, so I might just bail out of eight and then not have to be there. Okay. Yeah. So back to me with my henchmen. Wow, I have zero agents <laughs> <laughs> on the They've board retreated. right now. What is going on? You should just bomb the place. Um, no, if I activate my bomb, I'm going to lose. <laughs> definitely. I'm definitely going to lose. What do I even have? Oh, yeah. oh, no. I guess I'll just go to the volcano lair. Okay. So that is area seven. And for the second cube, I'm going to put another one in seven, in I think. Seven. Okay. Yeah. So let's go ahead and uh, score the majority. Sure. Yeah. So region two, nobody. Nobody. So I lose two. Back. Yeah. Same with region three. three so that's fine. Uh, region four is four. out because of 007. Yes, we are five. looking real thin. Five I do maintain. Yes. And I do like that bonus. I'm going to go ahead and move myself on. Oh, this is track. torture. <laughs> I'm just watching the other villain run away. I cannot Number one catch. must maintain. Nothing. Nothing. Um, I get seven, so that's so you nice. Get, that's you. So I can oh, yeah. have the tokens. There you go. Thank you. You get uh, the bonuses to intel. I do. Got some info. That's right. Uh, and then you get eight. So. Uh, yeah. I think you have eight, right? I have eight, yeah. All right, would you like to move any three? Well, knowing that if this fails, yeah. I should probably leave. Mm -hmm. um, I think I will. And I think I'll move myself over to this uh, this two slot. Okay. Just so, so I have some flexibility if we do have another round. Perfect. Let's resolve this, okay. shall we? Yep. So I have three mission points on this uh, card. We can bid using Intel. Mm -hmm. I... I'm ready. You ready? <laughs> Just so you know. Okay. Okay, so you have three points towards it. Yes. And we can only bid Intel. Right. And if you want to draw another card, the whole mission has to be successful. Right. Yes. It cannot fail. Uh, you would just lose your resource. Nobody would right. get a secret plan. So. <laughs> okay. Are you ready? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Shoot. Here we go. All right. One, two, three. Reveal. I, I bid three. Oh, I bid three. Ha! So I have six. No. Three. It is successful. That's a good thing. I didn't know you were going to I'll take bid. that. <laughs> so um, it's a success. So we both get a secret plan. A card. Yeah, that's and We don't have to vacate from seven or eight, know, which is nice. True. Oh. Um, and then I get a I get to move up one on the Spectre track because yeah. I, I uh, won that. I had more mission points, and I right, finally right, 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 get right. to complete a secret plan. You have something? Today's the day. <laughs> Believe it or not, <laughs> I have this one. So this says have your Ooh. villain or your henchman in seven. Oh, nice. So there it's you go. two advancements. So have one, you been holding on two. to that one? I've had it. Okay. I've had it in my hand. I'm going to discard that. I uh, landed on one of those um, red spaces, so I get to activate a space on my board. Is it time? Is it time to bomb let's see one two three four <gasps> how many secret plans do you have well i have this one exposed and this okay. two right here you know i am not going to drop the bomb we are going to finish this game You're out going all the way because i am certain that i would lose okay i would have dropped the know. bomb right now oh, so good. we might as well just go to the end and do like the final tally just sure. play it all the way through yeah. so for that um action i'm going to activate my plastic surgery villain um action here that lets me deploy three agents to region three. Uh, don't so. make me roll the dice into them. <laughs> the only thing What's that I could not activate region? is anything that has a lightning bolt symbol. Those you cannot activate by uh, by going onto those spaces. Oh, gotcha. So I think that's that. Uh, you are still number one, so there you go. One. Roll Please. it up, roll something good. Yeah. That is four, that is... Uh, that's where it already that's where is. That's where it already is, okay. Would you like to just leave it there? You know, I'm gonna, I am think I'm gonna re-roll. Oh, okay. I think I'm going to hang on to the one and then just roll this uh, three. It's a three. Oh, there it is. Oh, Two my. Plus one is three. <laughs> James. Nadine. Boom. 
Number one. Awful. Summons James. Awful. That was... Mm. That might have been it, <laughs> folks. <laughs> oh, good. It might have been the what end. What was about that place? That of you Emilio liked. Largo. And we don't switch off placards nope. because, Naveen, you are still number one. I have about so... a three space gap. So yes. I need to maintain that because I know you have that four, that's four really space nice. thing. That's, a, that's yeah, a problem. That's you, isn't it? it is. All right, let's go ahead and take back our villain okay. and henchman. Sure. And uh, uh, that's it for this round. Mm -hmm. So now, for the final time, number yes, one, last would you mission. care to reveal our last mission? All right, let's see what we got here. <laughs> Thunderball. Thunderball. Uh -oh. Okay, that's another one of these where you got to put your uh, character on. This one okay. requires gold bid, Monique. Hey. You have a lot of like, gold. I think I've found myself in some gold. Yeah, the penalty. But this is going to fail automatically unless one of us puts our bill in there. So it's not enough for us to just have gold, right? No. Okay. Remove all agents in two, five, and six. That's the penalty. Well, hmm. we care about that in it's the end. It's a little late. Yeah, I don't think it would... Uh... I think, no, it would matter if you have a secret plan that you're trying to score at the very end of the game that requires you to have agents in regions. That's so, true. That is a thing. If that's uh, that is a, thing. a thing. That's oh. a thing. <laughs> okay. Um, oh. Well, okay. I get to take a resource, you and do. why not? Gold? I guess I'll go with gold. Yeah, a gold member. Huh? That's what's uh, <laughs> on the line. And then would you care take it to... Away? Yeah, take it away. Well, I'm not too worried about Thunderball, so Why? I'm going to go ahead and move on over to space number four. Okay. I'm going to place an agent out, and then I'm going to spend a resource. I'll spend this blueprint to go ahead and move up the uh, Spectre track. Oh, my gosh. There we go. It is the end. The end is here. You feeling it? What am I going to do here? <laughs> wow. This is so bad. Um, <laughs> I think that, oh, gosh. I don't know. Yeah, I guess I have Ooh. to do this. Send in my villain okay. over to the Thunderball. Thunderball, I like it. All right, I just, I'm just i just going to go to six. Mm -hmm. I'll uh, put a cube there, and then I can put one in two, three, or four. Let's go ahead and put one in four. Mm, okay. Right. You know, for my last action, I'm going to go to the volcano lair. Mm. And I'm going to put one here and one here. Okay. Just, just to tie just to you. bother me a little Although bit. Although I think that I can move it doesn't matter. Yeah. 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 I'm putting all of my eggs in the <laughs> mission basket, if it's not obvious. Wow. My bomb has failed, and uh, <laughs> it's time to it's time for desperate measures. Yeah, <laughs> right? yeah, I feel you, yeah. Okay, ready to score these? Yes. All right, you get number two. I get two. So, here you go. Where would two. you like to move anything? Uh, well, I didn't like the fact... Oh, sorry. I didn't like the fact that uh, you took that, so I'm going to go there. All right. Well, you deserve that. Thanks. You get four. Uh, so, that's uh, two blueprints. There maybe? you go. Yep. There you go. Okay. Uh, five is also yours. That's a move. Ah, oh, it's a move. Um, so you can activate an action? Yeah. I don't think I can do any of them. What? Well, this one says move <laughs> move up to three agents from region eight. I'm not there. Uh, I do not have any resources that match You should these. absolutely attempt to finalize that. Uh, Let's keep that plan. Because you are number one right now. That's true. I am number one right like, now. Like, what okay. if, what if, what if somehow you saying, have miraculous? Yeah, what if I miraculously push? take number one before the All end right. of the game? All right, you're right. Thank you for saying <laughs> that. Yes. So because I am currently number one right now, yeah, I will, I will take uh, with this free action that I get to do here. I will take this one. Uh huh. Uh, so be number one, and because it was revealed, I only move up one versus three. So yeah. that's still good. I'll there take you go. that. You are right, Monique. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I want to make sure that you get the points, the points that you do. I've deserved. Yes. <laughs> okay. I don't think we were done divvying out majorities, right? That was just this. Right. Okay. So you get six as well. Taking that from me. What would you like? Uh, you know what? Let's diversify. I'll take a, a briefcase. An, an Intel. Okay. Intel. All right. And then um, I get seven. It's two. So for you. that's two of these for me. Not that. Not like these matter. Well, Nobody's it, it an could eight. matter if you draw a card and it's like turning two. And that's like that. true. You never, that's why I wanted to diversify. What decision yeah. did I just brush aside? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. Well, we are we are eligible right. to resolve this mission because I've I have sacrificed my villain to the cause. You have. So I have three points towards that, Naveen. All right. Let's bid some gold. We can only bid feeling, gold. Huh? Yeah. I have a feeling bid. you're not going to bid anything, huh? Are you Are you going to tell me how many you had? Um, I had about three. You had about three? About three. Plus or minus zero. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, ready? Yes. One, two, three. One. Okay, I bid four. I just bid Just in one. case there was any, any, any funny, funny business. business. Okay. So um, we mm -hmm. get a secret plan each because this is going to yes. succeed. Please be something I can solve. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is not... I do get the point or the advancement. You do. That is good. More, that is uh, good. 
And then I can technically, I'm technically supposed to be able to uh, complete a secret objective, but I can't. I don't oh, have any secret good. plans that I was able to meet. That is so good. I did not get... It didn't work happened? out for you. <laughs> I was like, so well in the beginning. Yeah, you, you had the whole board spammed at the beginning. I did. Yeah. And then uh, our plans, Emilio, You, you just focused on the bomb, just like Largo would. Well, you still get to roll for 007. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Uh, what is that again? Three? Oh, is... so it's the uh, player number. Let's see. A plus three result is decided by number two. So you would give, you would take it. I don't even I don't think it really. Think yeah, I, I guess it does do matter. Yeah. For the secret plan. Six. Six. So okay. These get wiped out. So these <laughs> go here. If you had any secret objective that required you to have anything in six, mm, that's too yep. bad. <laughs> Just so you know. Too bad. All right. All before right. we go into end game scoring, we are supposed to still, you know, exchange these. But you are still number one. That's the case as of right now. So that is, that is it. That is the end of the game. All we do for end game scoring is starting with number one. Reveal any secret plans that you are able to fulfill. Okay. So the one I just drew is definitely not going to be possible because okay. you need to have more game in order to do this. Okay. Uh, have your uh, either villain or henchman in in spot two. Oh, uh, okay. Which is too late. They're already been in use, so yeah, that's yeah. not going to happen. Okay. Uh, this one, I really wanted this one, but there was just no way I can get it all done. Uh, have control of seven. That's the one place mm, you happen to go. Perfect. And then have at least two cubes in four. Okay. So I was trying to work on it, but yeah. I couldn't get this to happen. Take seven. And this is the one that I said, okay, this is this is never going to happen. Okay. Hold no majorities. Hold no majorities. No majorities. I, th at the time when I had it, I literally had five majorities. And I was just like, huh, oh. throw the game throw, that's for hard. two? That might be something that's easier to do early, or maybe you hold on to it for a wipeout session. Just yes. Kind of like, there, there was, was a, a moment, moment where you were. Yeah. yeah, I was like off the It's board. just when I drew it, I was like, oh. How many advancement points does that grab? Two. Two. Oh, okay. Two. So if you're like way behind, yeah, yeah on, I guess on it's just like a nice control. Uh, kind of easy so, thing. So my score is my score where I am. All right. Well, so is mine okay, because yeah. <laughs> I have I had two secret plans that required me to hold majorities in, in five. five. The region that Naveen loved to hold on to for good reason. Yeah. I snoozed on five real bad uh, towards the end there. Uh, so I couldn't even fulfill these at mm -hmm. all. And then these other two, one was B number one, which I could just never just like take my... ever again after you just uh, kept going. And then have a majority in two, which I didn't have, mm, didn't and spend there. three resources. This is the one that I drew last. I was about to say, that's probably something you just drew. this is doable, but I just drew it. How many points would that have been? Oh, three been movement. Three. Wow. It's, so yeah. if you could have done three movement and then drop the bomb. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If there's one regret that I have, it's never using shark pool. Like that, that is something that Emilio Largo uh, really shines at, I think. It lets me remove one of my agents to gain the region area bonus of mm. the region they occupy. So I could have just tried to sneak in. A uh, an agent in like in the spa in resort. Five. No, in the spa resort. That'd have been good. No, in, oh, in five, five. The region, it's a region yeah. ability, you and sneak then just one in. take that action to pluck it off. Yeah, that's okay. That is where I went wrong. If you play as yeah. a Largo, you want to do that. You want to get right? in there because yeah. you're just going to be like sneaking up on the uh, yeah. specter track. It's true. Every round. I never got to uh, poison you. <laughs> That's I, human I, that was the yeah. I uh, I really wanted to uh, use my villain pawn, but I was so I was using it so badly yeah. to like hold this down. Yeah, no. Yeah, you did you did the right thing. Thanks. Cool. Well, good cool, job. Thanks. You are the yep. winner today. <laughs> well, there you have it. That is Spectre the board game. So today we were able to demonstrate two of the villains that come in the box, but the game comes with five different ones mm -hmm. to explore. Some older villains and some newer ones, yep, right? It. Yep. And so if you have any questions about anything that you saw here today, please feel free to leave us a comment down below, and we'll try to get back to you as soon as we can. Thank you all so much for watching the video. If you'd like to see more like this in the future, please consider subscribing. Thank you. Thanks. Bye.